Hello, my friends. This is Tom McLaughlin, writer, director of Jason Lives, Friday the 13th, part six. Also lead singer of The Sloths. And you are listening to the 80s slasher librarian. <laughs> Tim Curry's creepier to me. Uh, I, I absolutely agree. I think the 90s movie was just infinitely better. Oh, and I and I also I know Tom is gonna get pissed at uh, at me for this one, uh, but I I saw The Exorcist like three years ago, oh, um, no. and I wasn't I wasn't into horror then, but I didn't like it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, again, again, I have to tell you guys, you know, in the day, you know, when that thing premiered, oh you've yeah, seen you know a crowd throw up and run up the aisles and have <laughs> ambulance out there and people passing out, got men passing out uh, in the theater. And all of us at the end of the movie, just kind of s standing there, meaning to get up and leave, but just staring at the, at the, the screen. I mean, it really was devastating. It was amazing. We never saw anything like that. Now it's, you know, there's been so many imitations and variations of those ideas and stuff. You know, it just doesn't have that same, you right. know, shock you know, the, the, the whole thing with the crucifix, I mean, you know, yeah. being raised Catholic, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I've seen something like that. So it's, it's uh, yeah, that was, that was the one that really kind of defined it for me is uh, how do you ever top that? And I did get a job to do the prequel um, and was on it prepping for like two years. And everybody said, that's going to be the end of your career, dude. I don't know why you're doing it. And I said... I think I can make a really cool 1940s movie with, you know, Father Marin when he first had a confrontation with the demon. And we tried for like, you know, two years to try to get the script right. And when the script finally came in, I went, it's like, you know, my dinner with Satan. It just, it did, there was so much talk. And, you know, so I, I pulled out of the, out of the uh, project. And then, you know, uh, it was a series of, of, trips after that. Paul Schrader, you know, did it. He got fired when he turned in his director's cut. He did nothing wrong. He just shot the script. And yeah. Rennie Harlan came in and said, fuck it, we're going to shoot all over again. And so now they had two movies at, you know, $40 million each. So it was, you know, and then it just, you know, didn't work. I got to see Exorcist in as a re-release back in like 2004 or maybe earlier than that. It was re-released in theaters. And that's the first time I saw the spider walk down the yeah. stairs that's like a deleted scene. And I had nightmares about that, you know, mm -hmm. and I was, I was a teenager, you know, going on 18 and that scene <laughs> just messed with me. Uh, so I can see how um, somebody who's desensitized to a lot of horror stuff, watching it for the first time, uh, or even somebody who's used to how movies are now could be bored with most of the beginning of the movie, yeah. but really, Seeing it back then, it was terrifying, and I saw it years after it was new. Uh, but I can, I can just, I can just see people in the theaters, like you said, just freaking out at this because there was nothing like that. Yeah, uh, you know that really set a lot of standards. Um, but yeah, man, uh, thank you so much for your time. I know that you said you had to. Yeah, I've got, to unfortunately, on. I got a thing that I got supposed to be at at six fifteen on LA time here. Yeah, so, I saw uh, the, I saw the clock ticking. To, to meet you, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. It's it's been great. And uh, any chance to get out of the house and put a mask on, and you know, I take it these days because I go crazy in here just writing. I'm still writing horror scripts, you know, and uh, you know, trying to trying to not be overwhelmed by the friggin' you know, quarantine. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's a struggle. That's There's why no I hope you're not to write now. Hmm. Um. All right, guys, please yeah, take care. Thank you and, so uh, much. Thank you for right. having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we, had a, we had a blast. Thank you. All right. Take care. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yep. Slasher Pepper, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, watch a lot sure. of your videos. Yeah, it's awesome. I've seen some of the podcasts, too, so I'm uh, familiar with, uh, with you as well. Yeah, it, t it takes a while to really get that confidence. I mean, I remember when we first started this podcast, I was all like, hi, everyone, you know, welcome to the podcast. Now I got the white shirt. It's like, hey, we're back. You know, it's just <laughs> that confidence that really you just you need to do this a lot of times before you really get that. Yeah, I, um, 
I don't even remember that because I started like doing this stuff in 2015. At first, it was like a a Marvel YouTube channel. It's all very cringy and not very good, you know. Peter um, Parker, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, but even before that, you know. So and and so when I see people not starting YouTube because um, they're not confident in front of a camera, not comfortable in front of a camera. I'm just like surprised because I can't imagine that, but you know, it takes it takes some time. Uh, yeah, you want, hear, you want to hear some awkwardness? Go back and listen to Church of the Divine Psychopath, and suffer the children. <laughs> okay. You know, like, uh, yeah, he walked down the corridor with. Yeah, uh, it was so I, bad. <laughs> it's actually funny. There is something we talked about in the in in the the earlier part of tonight that actually links into what my unpopular horror opinion slash what the fuck horror. Okay. okay, hear me out. I was walking around today and I was thinking, I think Hell Lake would have been a little bit better if it was Michael Myers instead of Jason. And I'll tell you why because Jason, to me, Jason is in the camp, he, he's kind of primal, like a hunter, um, he's getting revenge on people that killed him, but Michael Myers has this composure, he has this quiet, almost sort of grace when he walks, and he's been known to put on disguises, um, I think he put on a cop uniform in one of them, he put someone else in his, and he's smart, because he's not undead, he's not a child, he's just he supposed to be a sense of evil, and I can see, there's a fan film, it's called Blast, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's... That's a, a weird Nightmare name for a fan Friday the 13th. It's, it's... Blast, I don't know the name of it? No, why, I'm just... Why would they name it that? Hey, um, <laughs> it's on Blinky 500. They tried to do a sequel to Freddy vs. Jason where they put all the horror icons duking it out. I've seen that, yeah. But yeah. I think I talked in an earlier podcast where Freddy tries to get Michael to help him, and when he visits Michael Myers in hell, Michael is in a sanitarium... And he's in the dark sitting in a chair, and there's a jack-o'-lantern on the table. And Freddy's going around him like, hey, buddy, you want to give me a hand? And Michael's just looking in the eyes of the pumpkin, not answering him. And he just goes, are you going to answer me or that fu fucking pumpkin? And he knocks it off the table, and Michael <laughs> gets up to throttle him. And I'm like, I can see uh, the main character of Hell Lake going to Michael in the institution like, Michael, Halloween's coming up. Maybe we can go and give them the anniversary you've always wanted to. Like, Michael, rise up. And just, like, him and Michael Myers rising up out of hell. And to me, I just, I feel like that could have been a better hell lake. That's just what I was thinking today. Yeah. Sorry? What did you say? That it's uh, 3.15 here now, a.m. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. I woke up, like, 50 minutes ago. I had a nap of, like, three hours. So, uh, Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm usually not on air, because I wish I would be on air uh, more often, because uh, it is a lot of fun to show you guys have, and, uh, you know. But, hey, now I'm here, so, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I usually, yeah, get up at three, I usually get up at 3 a.m. for work, so staying up past 10 is just a chore for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got to get up at 6 a.m. every day, sometimes 5.30. And some nights I'll be editing a narration till midnight or 1.00. Are mm -hmm. we having a contest here, Larue? Who is more yep. tired? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at my eyes. I think Sergeant Pepper makes that one. Uh, you, He's you, a lot, you're don't. a lot more energetic than I, I am right now. I, I'm beat. <laughs> Last time I saw uh, Roger really zone out was on Miss Fontaine. <laughs> 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 you haven't seen the Left in the Hood drinking game yet, have you? <laughs> yeah, oh, I've, I've watched all the ones up to. Um, I haven't. I haven't seen Leprechaun Back to the Hood. That, that's the okay. one I'm into. But you know the Miss Fontaine joke, though, right? Uh, where, he's, where, he's, where he's like zoning out into it. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, damn, dude, you're sitting there like, damn, I'm, I want some of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it, it, like on Sunday, that's like always the worst time to record, especially because I, uh, especially that. Uh, night before, I stayed out till like 5 a.m. I got home at like 5 a.m. And then I wake up at 1, like a little bit of sleep, a little hungover, you know. And then uh, within six, seven hours, we record these drinking games. And I try to be really active, you know. And I, and I really feel like I'm being active. <laughs> and then you say, 
you're not talking too much this time. And I'm like, fuck, I'm really trying on my hardest now. <laughs> oh, God, dude. We we just did the, the one he's going to be putting on his channel pretty soon is Leprechaun Origins. Yeah. That was such a horrible movie. And I, I warned him. I warned him forever. And I was like, you know what? I never finished the movie. I'm going to give it an honest, honest chance, you know, and it was so bad. <laughs> okay, you know how, for instance, POV shots in horror movies, right? The yeah. purpose of the POV is you don't, it's to keep the, the, the monster secret, right? Yeah. Uh, so, but once you reveal the monster, there's no need for the POV shot anymore, correct? Right? Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> they do this POV, then they reveal the monster, and then they'll like cut to a POV, then cut back to the monster, um, one of my drinking rules was bad POV shots, and yeah, uh, I could have probably just done just that role. Well, it got me say, about the leprechaun. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I will say this, though. I was actually thinking about this after uh, Leprechaun Origins. The leprechaun in Origins would easily kill Warwick Davis' leprechaun. I don't like to say this, but the one in Origins are, is a lot stronger and faster, you know? than um, Warwick Davis. I definitely prefer Warwick Davis as Leprechaun, wait, but he's wait, a dumb wait. man. Like, Warwick Davis could just do that thing where he like does that with his hand and like it blows their stomach out or their chest out or whatever. Like he did to, to it Ice It would be Cube, an interesting fight to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. whether, whether leprechaun like, versus Leprechaun. <laughs> I, I, I got like it. Leprechaun versus Awesome Leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. When I when I first saw the Leprechaun from Origins... Okay, you remember South Park? The Shit Goblin, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> shit. Okay, Leprechaun there, there, versus Shit Goblin. <laughs> there was an episode of South Park where... You, you remember Chef? Yeah, yeah. He, you, you, remember, you remember the scientist who has that little weird clone of himself that doesn't really speak and it just kind of hangs around yeah, him? There, early, when, yeah. when Chef first saw that, he just goes... <laughs> What is that thing? I mean, it doesn't even look like anything. That it doesn't even get an answer either. When I saw the Leprechaun from Leprechaun Origins, like, what is that? It doesn't even look like anything. <laughs> it doesn't even get, like, an answer either. You know, it's just yeah. uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone are geniuses, man. I think they were making fun of Island of Moreau versus Pleasure Island or something, but, like, it just, yeah, it didn't even really explain that. <laughs> it just has the same Hawaiian shirt that he has, the, the, the doctor. Uh, I've got this uh, screenshot that I took in like 2014, yeah. and I had Cox Cable at the time, and their subtitles were so fucked. Um, and I was watching South Park, and it was the episode where Stan starts hearing nothing but fart noises when he listens to music, you know? Yeah, cause he's, getting, he's getting old. Yeah. Never okay. all the music sounds like shit. <laughs> As he wakes up, the subtitles on Cox Cable says, shitting and farting noises. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the subtitle, so I took a picture of that and I, I I share it like once a year so I don't lose it and you know, but it was yeah. like that was the subtitle. Somebody that that that's what was generated for for the hearing impaired shitting and farting noises, um, <laughs> and what if somebody's never been able to hear it all? You know, it's like okay, that doesn't right. help me. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I, I think one of my that. favorite subtitles I saw is it, it was a comedy music video of a woman making fun of something from Rick and Morty, but the caption was dances sarcastically. And I love it because she <laughs> does, like she absolutely does, but I've never heard somebody dance sarcastically, but she pulls it off. Just, that is, that is sarcastic dancing. Sarcastic dancing. Or she's like pretending to have fun, but you can tell she's clearly not. And I'm just sarcastic dancing. That, that goes right Not's there. With, the mistaken with sardonic dancing. Um, yeah. Two totally different things there. Um, what about you? You ever seen any interesting subtitles over there? Um, no, not really any I remember, but I do, um, I do know that like YouTube often messes up and sometimes <laughs> certain videos, people will mention it in the comments and then, and then like write the sentence it says and then what it's actually, what it actually is, which sometimes causes for some pretty funny, funny subtitles, but I really can't come up with one now actually. I never have one where it's, uh, where it's like, oh, that's my favorite uh, weird subtitle. Uh, I, I have got my What the Fuck Horror ready uh, for tonight. And that my What the Fuck Horror is Scream like 5. Robert England, who played Freddy Krueger, he was scary, 
But then it got to the point where he was doing anything. I, I think I sent you the clip of the Japanese show he was on. Yeah. He was, like, dancing around doing something. It was just, like, milking it for every cent it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still funny though, but that's what Screen Five reminds me it's of. Like, it's like it's like it's like like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Do you have a what oh the fuck horror God. slasher? So what is uh, what the fuck horror exactly again? Just uh, what the fuck, like a what the fuck situation okay. in the horror genre. Okay, so anything. Anything doesn't have to be new. It can be old, new, whatever. Something coming out later. Okay, I will, I will think of it while Sean can give his uh, what the fuck horror. I can just see him be like, what the fuck horror? You got a guy that has to read slasher books to you? What? Did you forget how to read yourself? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, while you're thinking of that, I could bring this up. I just watched a horror movie. I I'm trying to get the popular ones from the 70s and 80s, and I, ju I just watched this one. It was called Alice, Sweet Alice. Oh, Have any of you seen that? I have not I, seen it, but I want to. It was weird. Apparently, the movie Seven took a couple notes out of the book from Alice, Sweet Alice, because it, it, it centers it on really this girl. It She's sounds about like one of the Rocky Horror show. showings I've been to before. Uh, yeah. Those are a lot of fun. Uh, you go there, yeah. expect to have like toast on you and rice in your hair. Uh, the Rocky Horror showings are nuts, man. Um, I still haven't seen the film. I would love to do a drinking game to Rocky Horror Picture Show with you one day. I think that'd be fun. It'd be different. Um, and it's it's not that long. It wouldn't be that hard. So, yeah. I think that could be fun. You ought to see if there's any interest in that. Um, do you have any uh, projects, videos coming up you want to plug? Oh, I um, I have an interview with Phil Demo coming up. Uh, who's the ex-guitarist from Machine Ed, and he's also in... Uh, the Bay Area thrash metal band uh, Violence, so I'm, I'm going to be uploading that Monday. Um, I have an interview with uh, Elizabeth Dox, who was in Intruder. She was the final girl in Intruder, and that's uh, she almost beat Adam Marcus with uh, the length of the interview. It's okay. 55 minutes long. The one with Adam Marcus is an hour long, so uh, it's really interesting because she has like all sorts of notes and like the screenplay from back in the day. So it's really interesting to see that one. Uh, other than that, I don't really have anything. I uploaded a Motorhead uh, album ranking yesterday. So uh, that's a very controversial one. And I, <laughs> there's already one dislike, which I usually don't get dislikes this quick. So uh -huh. I already know uh, that's going to piss some people off. But, you know, I, I don't get why, though, because... Would you rather have someone lie in their rankings and have the same ranking as most people? or Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I right, piss exactly. people off with my Freddie and Jason rankings all the time. So right. you got to be honest, man. It's kind of like, like, okay, I have a curse, apparently, with these drinking games. Like, I've had such bad luck while we're filming them. And, you know, it's almost to the point, like, we're going to disappoint people if nothing happens, but I'm not going to fake something. Right. Uh, you know, uh, speaking of which, uh, is that still supposed to drop, uh, I guess, later today or the same day as this? Well, yeah, um, I'm more comfortable with saying tomorrow, but technically today, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this is uh, recorded the day ahead of time, so... Uh, yeah, and we'll be getting together sometime soon and recording yeah. the finale, which is going to be a blast. Um, Just so we can yeah. upload it two weeks after uh, after tomorrow, you know. Yep. Check out Slasher Pepper's channel in the description. Uh, give him a subscribe. Uh, subscribe to him. Let him know I uh, sent you. Uh, be sure to click the thumbs up on his latest video since he's Appreciate already got it, a thumbs down on it. <laughs> uh, some asshole doesn't like his uh, his list. <laughs> Shit, you know, we, we, we're all entitled to our opinions. Uh, so I guess they're entitled to their opinion of not liking your opinion. <laughs> yeah, right. that, that'd be the big Jerry Springer reveal if I revealed it was me because you, you uh, trash-talked me in an earlier video. So I'm just like, <laughs> I did it. I'm the disliker. <laughs> That's what you get for beating me so many times in a drinking game. Oh, right. <laughs> a dislike. <laughs>